Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. And today I, I promised we'd do some Endless. I mean, look, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I don't really want to do uh, any Endless today. I don't, I don't have the time for that. And I kind of got distracted doing another stuff earlier on in the day, so it's like 7.30 right now, and I just, hey, it's not, it's not going to happen. And we will, we will do it, because I think that Endless is the best opportunity we're going to have to get this done. Uh, but it'll it'll have to happen another day. So we're gonna do Elysium today, uh, and then tomorrow, if we play Elysium, we will do Endless to try and get that done on both of the episodes, or you know, on how many I end up doing of them. Um, but I, I'm not gonna promise that. We might we might just not end up doing Elysium because Monday. So tomorrow is Sunday, and the day after Sunday is Monday. This is a Friday. This is a Rebecca Black song now. Um, uh, I love that music video. It's, be it's a beautiful music video. Friday by Rebecca Black. My friends don't agree with me, but but I agree with me. I, ho I hope I hope many people agree with me. So it is it is a, it is a work of art. They could they could have totally portrayed that as more of like a humorous comedy kind of song, and it would have been like. Amazing! It would have been like a fantastic song, but they they made it sort of like a. They took themselves too seriously in it, and it kind of made it a little bit goofy in a bad way. Anyway, back to back to the important stuff. So, Monday, the day after Sunday, my goodness, uh, is the first episode that will be going up on the new channel. So we've uh, we've been working on it for a little while. Trying to see if we can get it to, to happen. Uh, well, not trying to see if we can get it to happen. It's definitely happening, but just like finding the motivation to actually make it happen and do it. Uh, Monday, the first episode goes up. Uh, so that'll be a vanilla series. The first episode of the vanilla series will be going up on Monday. I don't know what time yet. I'm thinking it'll be like a 1 p.m. Pacific time upload. Um, so, you know, there's there's that, I guess. But, but I'm not making any promises on that. I really, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to decide. But because of that, I'm going to have a little bit of extra work to do tomorrow. I still have to kind of a few finishing touches on the episode. Um, get a couple of the assets set up and up on the channel and upload it, schedule it, make the thumbnails and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So there's a little bit of extra work that I have to do tomorrow. And I don't know if I want to commit myself to doing an endless run and then also doing... All of that. That seems like a little bit of, uh, of overwork when I'm just really tired today. And I've, I've kind of been tired for a long time. It might be a, a hint of depression. I don't know. A little disappear soon enough if it is that. Because uh, we'll be doing some really fun stuff very, very soon with, with all this new content that's coming up. Um, and, and is really exciting for me. No, I can't shoot, dude. Uh, so, a a any anyway. Um... I want this. It's a bad idea to grab it because it's like a trap. But I want it. Uh, so it'll be coming out on Monday. So if you guys are excited about that, the first episode will be going up on this channel. Uh, all of the future episodes, all the future videos on that channel for the most part anyway. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the future I find another video that I want to have on both channels. But for right now, it's, it's, it's really just that first vanilla. Uh, we don't have all of the flowers yet. So I think there's one like right over here. And then that should be all of them. No, we didn't grab the other one, right? We're still missing one other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, no, it, any, anyway, the, the, the first episode will be going up on Monday. That video will be going up on both channels. Watch it if you want, don't watch it if you don't want. It's, you know, fine. I'd appreciate it if you did watch it, but I'm not gonna murder you if you don't. I don't, I don't promise that I won't murder you, but I, I will make the claim. Is it over here? Is it over there? I don't know. It's been so long since I played on this map, you know, like it's it's really been just ages. It's been weeks. I I, I really forgot my way around, you know. I think it's on that side. It's in one of the corners. I thought they were opposite corners, but I, I guess not. I thought that was like a rocket ship, but it's just it's just a big old chain. It's just a big old chain. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, first video finally going up. It's right here. It's right here. First video finally going up. Uh, Friday will be the first 
multiplayer server series or episode so that'll be the uh, serenity smp video that will go up on friday same time as the monday one just on on friday i don't know what time it'll be but it'll be the same time and then we will add in gunfire reborn as well probably Yamajack tries i want to add in as well but i, I think i'm going to keep it a little bit more laid back just for now um so but it's uh you know coming along it's coming along that's exciting right that's exciting today's a good day though today is a good day okay the botanica has opened i still don't know what this door over there is all about because this door over here still doesn't do anything i don't i don't know what it's about i don't know what what this thing's all all about over there today's a good day i just i'm in a i'm in a really good mood i'm tired i'm tired but uh you know, I'm in a good mood. I'm happy today. I say with like the least happy looking. If I if I had a face cam, you know, everybody be looking at it like this is your happy face. This is this is what you look like when you're just brimming to the you know moon with with unadulterated glee. Yes, it is. I'm I'm poor at showing emotions on my face for the most part. But you don't. I don't have a webcam, so you don't get to you don't get to see me. Anyway, today's a good day. Today's a day where I've been getting a lot of YouTube comments, most of them from uh, one person. You know who you are. I forget your name. Audrey something or other. Uh, I think. It, it's some kind of A name. It's, it's probably like an M name. It's probably not even Audrey. It, it's probably like Mackenzie. And I'm just off my rocker. I, I have more faith in me being wrong than me being right. It's going to be super embarrassing if I'm right now, though. But you know what? Sometimes that's the goal, right? Sometimes the goal of, of humor isn't necessarily to, uh... You know, it's like, um... Self-deprecating humor. Is, is, is... Concerning, to a certain extent, I guess. Um, no. Uh, it's, it's concerning, right? Because you're like, wow, you look like... You okay? <laughs> you're constantly talking about how terrible you are. Um... But yeah, you gotta, if you do it right, I think it can be fairly amusing. And, and I think the right way to do it is to, uh, rather than making a joke at your expense, make the joke just like your own foolishness, right? So so oftentimes when I'm when I'm trying to be funny or, or something, I'll, I'll I'll say something that is just blatantly wrong. And I'll, I'll, I'll kind of make a fool of myself, because it's, you know, harmless. I don't really care if people think I'm a fool. I'm, I'm me, and I'm happy with that. Hey, yo. Uh, so, we, we didn't get to check up here when we came here last time. Yeah, that's right. I doubt there's anything up here, but I want to I wanna see it. Um, I, don't, I don't mind looking like a fool, right? Like, it's it's no big deal. So oftentimes, I'll, I'll say things that kind of make me the fool of, of any kind of discussion or happening or whatever and people laugh at uh, not necessarily at the joke but at my foolishness you know and in my eyes if I got a chuckle out of you laughing at at how dumb I am I think I think that I, I did the humor right I think I, I did it okay well you can just walk right over that that's kind of dangerous <laughs> they can walk right over it that's kind of funny um, no you be dead uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that uh, that your name is Audrey, or I mean, it's, it's Audrey something or other. I'm just playing myself like the fool because I want I want somebody to laugh at. Yo, oh, I thought I walked up inside it. I think I walked up inside like this thing, like this little bit that's jutting out of it right here. I think you can walk up inside that. You can. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Nice. Oh, we're getting chased. Uh, so I'm not like 99% sure the name is Audrey. I'm just I'm just making the fool of myself. I want somebody to to chuckle at, at my foolishness, you know? So it's kind of like self-deprecating humor, but in a, in a bit of a sort of different way, you know? Rather than telling a joke at my expense, I just make myself the expense. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I don't know if I ever make sense, really. I think oftentimes I uh, I don't, but I just have a pleasing voice, so that's nice to listen to. 
I, I imagine a bunch of people, you know. My, you guys, you guys, you guys out there, all, all my viewers. I, I, the way I imagine you guys is, is you're like cooking lunch or something, or you're cooking dinner, or you're sleeping, or you're doing whatever you're doing that you put on a, a video in the background for. And you just pe people are like, what the heck? What what the heck is this chick saying? You're like, I don't know, but she's nice to listen to. That's 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 what I imagine my viewer base is. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes I wonder what the heck I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know how any uh, anybody else could understand. Don't please. I I just I want I want to not die. It's a controversial thought. I I know, but. My goal in life is to continue. Can we, can we, you have to test it, right? Can I get on this? No? <laughs> maybe, maybe some, some testing nonsense, some shenanigans isn't necessarily the safest of ideas. I don't know. You got you, you play a new map, you find some new stuff in it, right? You gotta explore. It is too dark for me, this area. I'm like, I don't know if you guys can see. I, I oftentimes think that you guys can see better than me, which is like a backwards thing, right? Normally when you're when you're watching a YouTube video, um, people are like, I know it's really dark for you guys after the YouTube compression gets it, but you know we'll 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 be out of this darkness soon. No, no, I'm I'm pretty sure that I just I have really really poor eyesight in in like dark environments. I just I can't make out like details and stuff at all. Um, so this railing looks pretty much just like a black rectangle to me when I look straight at it I can see between it but like like this I know that you can see between them and I can kind of see it but like it's it's just a big black rectangle to me really and then these meshes in my head I just kind of like blur them out they're just big gray squares and then uh, the Zeds <laughs> I, I, I I don't know I have in my in my brain I guess I have this like filter for Zeds because I've just you know killed so many of them that uh, I, I just I'm able to see them a little bit better or something I don't know but that's why I like the the more brightly lit environments because I can see the details in this map you know I can I can see that there's like rocks on the ground I couldn't see that if it was poorly lit not a chance dude anyway we got a lot of comments today and they're all very nice people people talking about uh, people talking about me and other people responding and, and continuing to talk and conversations not not long ones but nevertheless there is a uh, some discussion happening in the comments about how great I am and I mean, you, you can call it conceited don't shoot me you can call it conceited or, or whatever but it's, it's nice to have people complimenting you right of course it is it's it's it's, it's a very nice feeling Okay, you can't just sidestep that. Explode! Um, it's nice, it's nice to have people saying nice things about you, right? And that's and that's what I get a lot of nowadays. It's actually kind of like uh, incredible because these days I don't, I don't get that many comments, but I, I do get enough that I don't know, like three months ago or something like that, I would respond to every comment in the comment section. I don't anymore. And I don't get that many comments. It's more a a, a sign of my poor attention span than the sheer quantity of comments that are flooding my inbox. The the flood is really like I don't know a comment like every day or two kind of thing. But it's I I yeah it's 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 too many for me to actually go through and respond to all of them because I just I don't have the uh, the attention span for that. But it's nice to see. I do I do read them all. And I, I really super appreciate them. So it's, it's, it's a big part of why I'm having such a great day today is because of all those comments that I've been getting today. Not all of them. Some of them are. So there, there's, a, there's a specific type of comment that I love. Okay. I, I, love, I love this comment. So there, there's two types of comments. I love the comments that are just like telling me how great I am. Those are always nice. Okay. Continue leaving those. Love those. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, but there, <laughs> but there is a uh, another type of comment that I also like getting just because it's kind of humorous to me, and that one is when people comment on a video that's more than a day old and respond to something I said in the video. You know, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I totally agree." 
I have no idea what you're agreeing to at all. I, I haven't the faintest idea. Whatever I talked about in that episode, it's gone. I have I have like in my in my head I've got kind of this vague memory of topics I've discussed. And as I I uh, I'll think about things before I say them, you know, like before I actually say something. Like I literally say it in my head before I, I, I say it. And as I'm doing this, I kind of you know it gets those neurons firing, those neural pathways starting to you know get moving and, and it, it reminds me that like hey I've had this discussion before I won't talk about it so that's why I'm able to with some degree of accuracy remember that I've talked about a topic before when I bring it up again like I've talked about this before but I do really like this you know like I'll, I'll be able to do that I couldn't tell you what video I talked about it in though and if, if you if you show me like you know hey episode like 432 what did you talk about I don't, I don't even know, like, what map I played on, what day that would have been. Like, <laughs> it's it's just... So it, it happens quite frequently where people will go on a on an older video. And, uh... They'll, they'll just leave a comment that's, that's referencing something that happened in the video, and I'm just like... Do I want to watch the video back to remember what the heck I'm talking about, or... Do I just give it a heart? And be like, haha, yeah. It's typically the second. But uh, it is it is a, a favorite type of comment of mine. And uh, that's that's why when I leave comments on people's videos, I, I try. I try. I don't always do it. I mean, it's easy to just like watch a video and then it's fresh in your memory and you kind of respond to it, right? But the issue is, is that for me, I mean, I record a lot of videos. <laughs> It's, it's really hard to remember what, what I talked about in, in any specific video. Uh, and, yeah, so when I, when I leave comments, I, I try to, uh, if I care about getting, like, some kind of response anyway. Um, I, I try to remark about what I, what, like, provide some kind of context for the comments so that, uh, you know, the creator has an idea of what's happening. Or sometimes, you know, oftentimes... The video is is uh, there. There's a specific topic in the video, right? Like it'll be like a cooking video or something. And if I'm like, "Hey, I tried making this at home," that you know, they're not gonna be like, uh, "I don't even know what you were trying to make," because it's you know the title of the video is "How to Make Key Lime Pie." They're like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, no, it's, it's obviously the key lime pie, right? But uh, especially in this in, in in content who like Northern Lion or whoever. Who makes uh, less sort of? I don't know what the right word is, but meh, uh, le less targeted maybe contents. More just kind of generic. Well, generic. Yeah, I guess generic is kind of a right word there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. The the more generic kind of just rambly sort of stuff. I, I try to provide some kind of context. It's not annoying when when you do it, by the way. It's not like I'm annoyed. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not annoyed when you when you leave a comment that's referencing something that happened in the video. It doesn't like bother me. I just I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't really respond. So if you, if you care for a response, it's, it's usually better to to leave some kind of context clues for me. But. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I'm not like upset. Like these stinking dummies just can't even tell me what they're talking. They want me to go and spend you know ten minutes watching this video. So no, nah, like whatever. You know who cares? Can I activate it again? No. Lore Master knows, dude. He knows though. I don't know how I missed that the first time. Cause we pulled it in endless, and I I was like that whole hour long endless. Oh. The whole hour long, like, endless run that we did, I would have just been like, what consequences are there? It didn't say anything about the Lore Master. It probably did. Uh, that would have that that been annoying to watch, I'm sure. It happens, right? Like, as you're talking, you, you kind of uh, miss out on those, those smaller details. I know I was recently talking about how I don't think it impacts me, but I, I believe I also said that I still use it as an excuse. Um... 
So I'm uh It's it's Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. I I I I think I would have missed it even if I wasn't recording. Just cuz I, I I have that kind of uh attention for detail. You know, there there's a reason my resume doesn't say attention for detail on it. And I, I have used that joke in an interview before. I was in an interview and uh, they did like some test or something that was very dependent on, on your attention for detail. And I, I failed it and they're like, ah, no, actually it's 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 right here. I can't, I can't remember what it was, but it, it, was, it was something, you know, like some kind of dumb interview test or whatever where you have to like spot the difference or or spot the the like problem or something you know and I didn't get it so they were like ah no it's over here I'm like well you know there's a reason my resume doesn't say attention for detail on it I tell you I got hired I got hired you know I think um, when you when you're trying to, to get a job I I think that having oh, I love this. I, I love this section right here because they just rain down on you and you just get to continue destroying. It's great. It's great. I love it. Um, when you're trying to get a job or something like that, like being able to take something like that and uh, recognize that yeah, you were wrong. You didn't do that right. You failed this, but like accept that and be okay with that and and have sort of humor and not get like upset about it and try to weasel your way out of it or whatever like just yeah I was wrong <laughs> it happens you know um, I, th I think that's a, a more valuable skill because you, you can teach somebody how to tell the difference between like you know a real bill and a fake bill but you can't teach somebody how to not get upset when uh, when the situation isn't good for them right like like being able to do that kind of shows that you know yeah if, if you put me in a stressful situation where I, I mess something up I'm gonna not panic, and I'm I'm gonna be perfectly fine with handling it, and that's that's a skill that's that's good to have. So I still got the job, and I think that's a big part of why it happens. You're usually when you get something like that, you're not gonna not get it anyway. It typically is more of a test of uh, how do you handle being in a situation where you're put on the spot like that, uh, more than like a test of you know actually doing it. Um. You know, because it's a stressful situation. You're you're gonna make mistakes and stuff. It's it's fine. You know, it's more of a a, a test of how you handle um, being in that kind of situation than uh, than a test of how you handle actually you know solving whatever problem they put in front of you. Although solving the problem is definitely a benefit if you're able to do that, because you know obviously that shows that if you're put in this situation, you're still gonna be successful and whatever. But I think coming out of it with a, with a bit of humor kind of worked in my favor with that interview for sure. It was uh, it was a fun interview. It was it was a fun one. But there, there's a reason why my my resume doesn't say attention for detail on it. I mean, my resume doesn't really say anything right now. I'd, I'd probably have to make a new one if I ever wanted to get a job somewhere. Apparently they have a COVID vaccine out now. The FDA has approved it, and they're shipping like millions of vaccines to people or something like that. Which that's pretty sweet, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, cause I was banking on uh, COVID kind of lasting and me having the whole YouTube thing to kind of spend some time on and, and kind of get it working, and I haven't done that yet, and so I don't know. I mean, I also don't know, like you know, are the vaccines gonna work on a global scale, and how long is it gonna take for everything? I only saw like a. Yeah, I'm one of those people who like read the headline and are like, oh, COVID's done. Okay, well, I guess I'll go out to the store now. No, like, I don't know how long it's going to be until it's actually shipped. Like, yes, they've approved it and they're going to ship it, but who, who how, do they have them ready to be shipped? I, I don't know. I didn't read the article, right? Lots of information that I don't have. Anyway, um, I don't know what I'm going to do about it if COVID ends a, a little bit earlier than I expected. But it's not like I want it to not end. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I want it to end. COVID's bad. <laughs> There's no question about that. Um, but anyway. I think I have a runny nose. I have COVID. Uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. Squeak, squeak. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.